Hi guys, bargain store project time. I'm just about to put this project to one side for a while. Um, I'm just not having the success that I want with it. I'm going to have to have a redesign. So you won't see that one again for a little while until I've actually figured out what to do with it. Instead of that, I bought these today. Storage containers. Suitable for microwave use. 8 pack for a pound in my pound store. And I'm going to make some simple cars. So that's today's project. A simple car. I think the first one I'll make will be rubber band powered. Right, there we are. That's one out of the packet. I actually bought these because I desperately need to tidy up my work area. I've got so many bits and pieces from the various projects. But um, I thought I might as well have a bit of fun while I'm at it. They're a bit soft and flexible, which you'd expect when you buy them cheap. But I think the first one I'll use to make a rubber band powered car. So I'll have to strengthen it a bit because that will flex with the strength of a rubber band pulling it. But I'll just put a couple of bits of polystyrene foam strengtheners in it. Right, just adding a bit of polystyrene, my favourite, a bit of pizza tray. Hot gluing it to the outside edges just to make it a bit stronger. This is only because I'm going to use it as a rubber band powered car and that will try to squeeze it up. I'm not sure if you'll see this because of the colour of the pen and the black background. But I've actually made an effort to mark up where I'm going to put the holes for the axles to try and keep it parallel front to back. Um, basically because it's quite a short wheelbase, that's from the front axle to the back axle, It's any variation I get is going to make quite a difference to how straight the car goes. The longer your wheelbase, the less impact getting it slightly out of line will have. When it's quite short, a small change will actually have your car turning left and right, right quite a lot, whereas if you made a, long, a longer wheelbase car it's not quite so important. It still goes offline, but it won't go offline quite so quickly. Anyway, now I've got to drill some holes. I'm just poking the holes through first with a sharp instrument. Braddle, this is called, according to me. Then I'll open the holes out with a drill or something to get to the size I want. At the front, I'm actually going to put a ball pen tube, plastic ball pen tube right the way across so that the axle will actually go inside it but also because it's fairly stiff I'll use that as the connection point for my, my rubber band that's actually going to drive the back wheels. Right, that's the front axle tube in place. As you can see it's just a ball pen tube I've carefully opened out the holes that I drilled so it's wide enough for the tube to go through. I should tie the rubber band to that and then link it onto the back axle, front, yeah, back axle, which will be the driving end. Right, that's the front wheels hot glued in place. Just a barbecue skewer for the 
axle. I don't know if it will show, but I've put a couple of little spacers on the inside just to make sure the wheels don't bind against the uh, shaft or tube. It's actually off offcuts of this little bit of plastic tubing I've got here. Um, which I just happen to have in my bits and pieces drawer. Right, next will be to fit the front axle. And I'll reuse these wheels off one of my other projects. The wheels are made from VHS cassette spools. Or VHS tape cassette spools. Just a quick little tip when you're fitting the wheels onto these axles, certainly these garden cane ones as I'm using here for the back axle, it's always handy to sharpen them. It makes it a lot easier to actually get it on. Right, there we are, back wheels and front wheels in place. I need to put a little peg or something on the back axle there just to hook the rubber band onto. You could just wind the rubber band on, but if you put a little hook it makes life a little bit easier. So I'll just think of something to put on there. Then we'll attach the rubber band and we'll go and try it out. I've actually left it so I can still put the top back on if I want to. And if I attach the rubber band permanently to the back axle, so it's attached front and back, you could wind it up, it would shoot off and then it would stop when it's run out of rubber band. Whereas if you leave it loose so it falls off the peg, it will run off and when the rubber bands run out it will keep running. So it depends whether you want it to keep running or whether you want it to stop. Right, to make a peg on the back axle I've just wrapped a paper clip round there, a fairly small one. I shall cut the ends off, leaving one sticking up a bit and put some hot glue round it just to hold it in place. Right, there we are, that's my little hook or peg on the back axle. I don't know if that's very sharp. Yeah, I might have to just put a file on that to take the sharp point off it. Don't want to damage anybody when they try and use it. Right, I've just looped three rubber bands together there because I've only got small rubber bands. Loop it around that front. There we go. Get onto the back axle. more powerful than I expected. Good bit of wheel spin there. So what we'll have to do is cut a balloon or something and put it on the outside edge to give us some grip. Right, there we go, bit of uh, an old balloon stretched over the back wheels. I'll put a link to my help files where I show how to do that. That's going to fly, isn't it? Okay, we'd better go and try this out somewhere. Okay, time for a test run. Connect up our rubber band. Ready? Oh, 
Well, that's got to be a success. OK, summary time. Plastic container from our bargain store. Came in a pack of eight for a pound. I've put a bit of polystyrene pizza tray there as strengtheners on the side. A ball pen tube to hold the front axle, which is actually a barbecue skewer. And the wheels from a VHS tape cassette. The spools and the back axle, slightly thicker, um, that's garden cane, um, with a little peg glued onto it made out of a uh, paper clip. Wheels again made from the VHS cassette tape and to give us a bit of extra grip I've put a bit of a rubber balloon around the edge just to give us some grip. And that's it. That works fine. That shoots up the length of my garden, uh, garden, length of my kitchen easily. That's five metres is the length of my kitchen. Before anybody asks how far does it go, uh, it would probably go further, but I can only measure for five metres. So that was pretty easy. And I've left space so I can put the, the lid on if I want to. But I've left it all open so you can see the workings. So that's got to be bargain store project number 22 I think and I might make another one of these and uh, put a balloon on it and then I might make another one and put an electric motor on it so I can get three projects out of the uh, one set of containers